Welcome back. You're watching Sports Tonight on Channels Television. Before we enter that break, we brought you updates from the FCT FA Cup. I'm asking Soccer Academy. They are through to the semi finals. I know yeah, that's really nice because they actually defeated other Academy Royal Boats to get to the semi finals. This FA Cup provides a platform for academics to say, look, if you get better, who knows, you can come and start playing against the likes of MFM, AIMBA. That's an avenue for success. Yeah, absolutely overwhelming. I mean, the, the Federation Cup is, is, is for everybody. Mm. Um, the Nigerian Professional Football League, the NNL, very restricted. You have to qualify from the nationwide, you That's know, climb right. up. But when you, everybody, you know, can play in the FA Cup. Right. You can aspire, mm. get to any level you want, if you prepare very well. The, the, the story of um, Arugo FC That's right. in 1999, it's a yeah. fairy still. Um, and recently, so, like about two seasons ago, Kukuruku Dragons. Very true. Mm. Very true. Mm. Very true. Mm. Very true. Mm. So, I mean, it, it's good that uh, some of these academies are aspiring and they're playing, they're exposing these young talents yeah. in a competition like the, the FA Cup. I mean, they, when they play FRA FC, they, 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 they can't get a result. Mm. That, I mean, if, it's possible. If, if they up their game, mm -hmm. if they believe and they play up to their potentials, they, they can get to the, the final. The same FRC play in the NNL? Yes, in the NNL. Okay. And, and who knows, they, they, can, they could represent the FCTA yeah. mm. and go, go, go national. That's and right, because I remember the same two seasons ago, Papilo FC Very also good. created yeah. some upset. Right. And then, you know, uh, followers of football in the country, we will not forget, yeah. particularly when you're giving us upset, giving us reasons to talk, because uh, a lot of times, Joseph, mm. uh, people say, what is in it for academies? That they are just um, a platform for agents to come just pick people and take them abroad but no with the FA Cup they have something to look forward to yeah you know FA Cup open to upset is a dream land mm. dream land for them they can afford to aspire you know they, they, they are showing their talent they are more than they, 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 there is no limits to what they can achieve when they are at this level and they are performing mm. clubs from all over the country they are watching they are recruiting now the season is getting to a time That's where right. recruitment to take place mm. these are veritable opportunities to actually push, catch them young you I know agree. catch them young, expose them to international competition it's, it's a very good platform. They can excel. They, they, who says they can't rub shoulders with the, with the heavyweights? Mm -hmm. Who says they can't even go ahead and beat Railway and qualify and even go as far as... They can, this, this team can actually represent Nigeria. Mm. You know, if they go as... If they, if they can pick a continental ticket, it all boils down to your ability to grow. You know, just give themselves that opportunity to grow per game and, you know, take advantage of the platform that you know, is provided for them. And for us that are talking football in Nigeria, it gives us an avenue to assess the development of football at that level. I find out how we're doing with coaching, our players are doing. In fact, the ownership of the academies also, ah, they're running the, yeah, exactly. the academy. So the, the FA Cup uh, provides a good platform for football development in the country. Let's talk about Women's Football League in Nigeria now. Before we go, I'll talk about the men, of course, ladies first. Let's talk about that league that's got queens and angels. We saw some goals today, 15 goals scored uh, in week four of the Nigeria Women's Football League. We'll run through uh, the results in Lagos, FC Robo. Uh, we expected them to win because, I mean, they can't go to Rivers A angels and then lose and come back and then smile but Ibom angels give a good account of themselves that one ended 3-2 and then sunshine queens um and biosa queens play 2-2 that's a very good result right there but we know biosa queens i will listen to uh the coach okorowanta uh, when they came to lagos said look we will bounce back and oh yeah after that game uh, now it's four points from yeah. two games yeah so you see they actually said they're going to bounce back and they're actually are uh, doing that sada two amazon lost at home to nazarawa amazon has in group b of the nigeria women's football league with four results oshun babes and adamawa queens played goalless why Edo queens defeated confluence queens 3-1 we're talking about women's football in Nigeria. Before I get this guy's opinion, let's listen to Aisha Falode. She's the chairman of the league. She says, look, we want to develop women's football. We like the signs we are seeing, but hey, we need your support to make it happen. Let's listen to Aisha. When we come back, we'll dissect week four of the Nigeria Women's Football League. Don't go anywhere. Stay. We had a situation in week two with Sada 2 against um, uh, the girls from Meduguri and then uh, it was an issue of security and we have said that all the elements of a match have to be provided when you want to play your game not only the players on the field you have to provide medicals and uh, medicals also include an ambulance on standby the security must be as stated in our handbook if you do not have that security the match will not take place of course this uh, the security was not present for that game in uh, in mina and we had to shift it by 24 hours 
by 24 hours we still didn't have that security and we have uh, cancelled that game we have given three points and three goals to uh, to the team who traveled all the way from my degree and we have also fined Saada too and these are some of the discipline we are trying to introduce in the game and the managers understand that they know that it is not business as usual they know that when we say we would do something we would do it we have also been getting some uh, uh, reports for week four matches now to say some of the rescheduled um, uh, MPFL matches are going to be clashing with us and uh, we are going to be shifting some matches by 24 hours. I mean, this is not by our own making. It's because some sh matches have been rescheduled by the N MPFL. At the end of the season, we want to see that uh, not only have we uh, kept to our promise, not only have we stick, uh, stuck with our timetable and that indeed we have um, been able to also cut the media uh, to give them the content that they need to talk about in the women's league. Uh, thank God for channels, yourself, and all the newspapers and the blogs who have been following our games. And we are quite impressed. And um, we will say that uh, we appreciate it. And we look, you know, we rely heavily on you to continue to give us the support and let people see because we need to share uh, the space of football in Nigeria. It's, uh, it's choking, it's tight, but we have to find our own space and only the media can give us that space and that is uh, what we are asking you to do. I shall we have listened and we'll try to do what we can. Yeah, it's a choking space. Oh, yeah. She admits, yes, the men, they want to play on the football, but give us that small space for women. And I, I listened to her carefully when she said, it's not business as usual anymore. Yeah, it, 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 it can't be business as usual, you know, because they, they want to take the game to another level. Mm. Um, female football administration, they are looking for partners, sponsors, and you have to do things differently to attract sponsors. You can't continue with the same order where you, you had walkovers, you know, because anybody putting in money in female football don't want to listen to negative stories. That's right. They want to see games being played on the pitch. And mm -hmm. so, uh, I mean, from this angle, we, we Aisha Faludi can have our full support. Yeah. Yep. And we know her very well. She's one of our own. Mm -hmm. And we can only support her. That's what we can you know, do. And the way they have handled the issue of Sadao too, you fantastic. know, very fantastic. Mm. You know, I, I mean... The, the men's league will always, uh, had issues, <laughs> you know, when it comes to some particular clubs, they delay, uh -huh. but the women yeah, have, you know, have, have reacted promptly. Mm -hmm. If you violate the rules, the, the sanctions will be meted out mm -hmm. and almost immediately. And mm -hmm. I, I think I want to commend them for what they have done. So okay. That will send the right signals to all the clubs. You must play according mm -hmm. to the rules. Mm -hmm. And she also said that. Uh, as well. Yeah, and I'll come to you, Joseph. She said that because there are some games played that will be played in the MPFL to, today, they have to shift some of the games. So tomorrow we'll be seeing Abia Angels taking on Rivers Angels in Nigeria Women's Football League, White Pelican Stars. We will take on Delta Queens. You saw that goal. Uh, the, the, th the third goal, Cynthia Aku scored for River Singer. You said, wow. It tells you we have quality in Nigeria. Well, we Women's do. Football. We do. I mean, these are goals that are, you use it to advertise the league. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, I don't know. Well, well, yeah, she has said it all that we, she needs to, they need to find their own space in the media. You know, mm -hmm. I wish they could just get the clips of these, these games together, mm -hmm. you know, and run a promo. It will go a long way mm -hmm. in, you know, selling the brand because right. you don't sell an invisible brand. Find mm -hmm. people are reporting it but they need to see clips they yep. need to know that there is yep. quality in this league mm. and indeed if you look at the quality of that goal that goal could easily pass for a goal in europe <laughs> and I, I just love the organization mm -hmm. the discipline around mm -hmm. you know the way they're organizing the league it shows that they've really thought through the entire process yep. and at any point each time when there is an interjection they come in they know exactly what to do they mm. don't need to wait for several committees to meet to arrive at decisions it is really really it's so good pictures pictures coming from lagos the game between fc robo queens and ebon Angels, uh, it ended FC Robo 3, Ibom Angels 2. So it was FC Robo that, uh, that took charge. They were leading 3 0, and then Ibom Angels started fighting. They scored one, and then scored another one. But then they 3 2. Well, yeah, let's just talk through talk through this one. Look at that. Look at Coming that. from the <laughs> yeah. women's football. Quality. Mm. I mean, the, the, the fans are um, really enjoying themselves. You remember with one when uh, FC Robo and the uh, Bayer Sarkoons played, yep. the fans were so ecstatic. Mm. And, uh, and if it continues like this, you know, you have more and more fans coming to the stadium to watch very good football. These women give a good account of themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, if one Queens can go back home yeah. satisfied that they, they fought. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. That they fought and they, they played good football. <laughs> I mean, 
That is the spirit of the game. Yeah. Mm. And at 3-1, she still wanted the ball, yeah. believing that they can come back. You know, so it's basically the same passion, the same excitement we see with, the men, with men's football. I shall not to say that, look, all of us, we have a role to play. We need to support women's football. The fans are coming out in their own way uh, to support, give support to, to the girls while playing. Uh, hopefully, we'll get sponsorship, we'll yeah. get partners that are coming to support women's football in Nigeria.